currently driving my Tesla on the Dumbarton Bridge over the San Francisco Bay. Uh, my passenger, of course, is filming for me. My feet are not on the pedals, and uh, my hands are currently not on the wheel. And we're going with Tesla Auto Steer in adaptive cruise control. And the car is doing the driving, so it's slow down in front. But the car is managing all the driving by itself. My trusty passenger is filming and I'm keeping a watch in my hand close to the wheel in case I have to jump in and take over should this system not deliver on the goods. But this is day one of the availability, general availability in Teslas of the auto steer functionality, limited autonomous driving, and uh, pretty good. Uh, in fact, we've had adaptive cruise in the Tesla for a number of months already, and uh, it seems like the adaptive cruise has gotten smoother. You can see the car making some lane corrections there. The steering wheel making some slight adjustments. In the uh, console, you can see my car in a graphic of the car in front of me that I'm following. And you can also see two adjacent lanes. And you can see some yellow, some lights showing proximity alerts for cars around me since I'm in thick traffic. A car in my back right corner that just went away. And the car is now reacting to the traffic going 16 miles an hour. My cruise, if you can see, is to the left of the speed. is set in a smaller font, and it is um, set to 65 miles an hour, which I'm clearly not able to do. But the car will drive me up to the set speed, and of course, as a slight tweak, I can increase that set speed to, say, 70 miles an hour, and now, if possible... The Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Way is talking to me car would go up to 70 miles an hour if there was nobody blocking in front. So, here we go. Pretty good. So you can see how the workload of driving in dense traffic like this is taken off of the driver. Uh, hopefully people will keep paying attention so that they're able to take over if needs be. Tesla recommends you keep your hands on the steering wheel. I'm of course having a bit of fun by letting it drive without my hand on the steering wheel. I'm watching pretty closely. First day, uh, don't fully trust the automated system, but it's a heck of a lot of fun and pretty impressive. So since I started this video, I have not touched either steering. Well, frankly, the only thing I've touched is the bottom of my seat with my bottom, and the cars looked after the rest. This feature is limited to freeways, well-marked roads with clear lane delineations can't work if you can't see the lane markings. You can follow a car in front pretty well, uses that information to its advantage, and of course the paint on the road. Works better at night because the paint lights up better, lights are more easy to see, and uh, works worse when there's obscure of the markings, whether it's fog or snow or ice. Call me a happy customer. I love this. I'm gonna get into some dense traffic in a little bit on my way home on a two-lane road where all you can do is follow the car in front of you and you're probably crawling at 5 or 10 miles an hour and I'll be able to let the car handle it itself. You see that truck in front of me pulled over so the car accelerated and taking up the available space and catching up to the guy in front. I can of course um, set my preferred comfortable following distance on a scale of 1 to 7. Right now it's set to 1. In uh, tra dense traffic like this, if you set it to anything more than a 1, you'd have a unlimited stream of cars pulling in front of you. And if you can see, the road's going to take a bend to the right of that mountain. I'll just let the car do that turn by itself, and then I'll stop the video there. I'm just seeing that. So I'm not touching that wheel. It's navigating this right-hand bend. Pretty cool. I'm going to turn the following distance, just so you can see, down to two. Well, three. And we'll have a little bit more space between me and that white truck in front. So it's a range of one to seven, and I'm currently at three. All right, you see we navigated that slight corner. Of course, it can handle some pretty good turns. Uh, it's a little disconcerting when it does tight turns for you. Hard to trust it on this first day, but it does do them. And uh, of course, we slowed down for traffic. All right, pretty cool. Tesla autonomous driving.
Model S B85D.